Hello, I'm Edwina Hodkinson and I'm a medical herbalist and we're out on a walk in the moors north of Bury and you can see it's absolutely beautiful up here. There's, you can hear the birds, the bees, you can hear the sheep and the whole sort of this area is full of hawthorn in blossom. It's absolutely exquisite. We can walk in here quite a lot and it's a special place for me because my, the ruins of my great grandmother's cottage is just over there. So this is her place as well. This is a really special place to me because apart from being fairly near to where I live, it's also where my great grandma used to live as well. And her cottage is just in ruins, just over that little tiny hill there, a few minutes from here. I'm sat underneath this absolutely beautiful hawthorn tree and you can see it's in full blossom. Our ancestors treated a hawthorn with reverence. It was seen as an entrance to the other world and the fairy. It's also a herb of the heart as well. And hawthorn can be healing for the heart on just so many levels with using the flowers and also the berries as well. Hawthorn is a supreme heart tonic on so many different levels, on the physical, on the emotional and on the spiritual as well. And both hawthorn flowers, berries and leaves can be used. Hawthorn is a supreme heart tonic and a favourite of herbalists. It works on so many different levels from the physical to the emotional and to the spiritual as well. Hawthorn helps the heart to work better. It can increase blood flow to the heart, it tones the tissues, it helps oxygenation and nutrients and also helps with the conduct conductivity as well. It's brilliant for supporting the blood vessels, it's toning, it can help reduce cholesterol and it can also help in the reduction of blood pr pressure as well and it increases circulation. I love hawthorn. It's when you take hawthorn in a tea, it's so calming and relaxing. And if you think about today how frantic life is and how stressful we feel, just when you're taking hawthorn, you can feel that instant calm, almost like you're getting a really big hug. Herbalists love hawthorn as well for supporting people with grief. When people feel as though life is just getting too much, when they've lost people, when they have grief because of um, loss of any kind, Hawthorne can really support us. I've been thinking about how appropriate Hawthorne is for what we're going through at the moment during lockdown. I think there's a nationwide grief, grief on so many different levels, grief for those that we've lost, Grief for those who are sick, grief for people who are losing jobs, a way of life, who are not able to see the loved ones. And Hawthorne is a herb for that grief. It works with our heart energy, that heart energy of loss and love. It helps us cope with that which we're missing, helping us cope with this transition. And I feel that when I have Hawthorne, it's like a big hug of comfort and calm. And so we're going to have some hawthorn tea. This is absolutely ideal for picking at the moment. And you can see the blossoms are lovely and creamy. And when you touch them, they don't fall off. This is hawthorn at its ripest and its most loveliest to pick. It's a hot sunny day and it's at its best. So we're going to have some tea on the moors and I'm just going to pick a few blossoms. So just picking a few of the fresh blossoms putting them in a teapot or a cup, that's it. This is, I always think that picking hawthorn is such a therapeutic thing to do, but you've got to mind those thorns because they can prick you as well. So I was putting some in a cup or a pot and then pouring on some hot water. And just letting it steep it even looks so beautiful just in the cup as well with the hot water so I'm going to leave this for about 10 minutes and then drink it 
you can drink Hawthorne all year round. And this is absolutely perfect for drying at the moment. I've got some in my dehydrator at home and I've got some in the jar because I like to drink this all year round. I also tincture it as well, which is putting it in vodka and I leave it till about September when I can add the berries and they make it a lovely lush, fruity colour and taste.